Razor Ooh. interrupted on the base, marked with the blaze. Razor can't step in or he'll tank tower aggro. They're waiting for the passive to fall away. Incredibly well played. They're taking their time here. He's oh, the shield the tower. Wait. They're just waiting. Shield now expiring. He's trying to clear the wave. Q4 trying to lock up Oscar. Run and Oscar goes down. It's so damn clever. Another. Oh, why did they do it? I said it last split. <laughs> there is one top laner. Yeah, Cost turns his attention towards mid. This is. It's flashbacks to last split. How many fumbled topside tower dies did we see? But now it's Humanoid in trouble. They know exactly where the jungler is. He's in the grave, so might as well send the mid laner there to join him. You've yeah, now that's missed the, the window of opportunity. Pretty much, yeah. Again, similar to uh, to Rumble and Renekton. This is a champion where post level six, it is. You've also, in turn, seen a lot more fumbles on those particular dives. We're also going to get a replay of the mid lane play. This one was pretty cut and dry. Zviro goes for the all in, gets the level six a little bit earlier. Yeah, good. Oh, wait, hang on. No. This is a solo kill. This is a solo kill. I... Oh! I... I... Audience, I'm that so sorry. <laughs> We've been lost in top side <laughs> tower dive land. We missed that. Well played by Spyro. Capitalizes on getting level six ahead of human one. Capitalizes on the fact that early Board game. Immediately cleared. cleared. Team Heretics here first on the setup. Noah off to the side. Oh, cool. Instant death from on to Humanoid, just isolating that target. And well, Wonder's a pretty big boy. Humanoid's got nowhere to go. One more Obliterate ought to do it. Wonder in the isolated 1v1 puts him in the Thunderdome, sends him to bed. Team Heretics winning the fight, winning the exchange again. Fnatic now respecting the Mordekaiser potential. Remember that 6 and 1, good score. Fnatic close to the perfect split until they lost to G2. Now fighting for grubs. Oh, I He's think to he actually got that one. Yes. It. So he gets the full grub buff. That's going to be crucial to keep the pressure up. Now they have a pretty sizable lead. Again, 1k getting bigger. Trimby now feeling a little bit more confident to make a couple of plays. Black and immediately going to go over the wall. Lightning Craft coming through. Jun is dead. Razrock running on his one squishy brand. Blaze passive proccing, good damage back. So they can commit topside. Look at all this vision that they've now been able to invest. Watch out know. from Wonder. We've been here before. Good bit of poke, but nowhere for the brand LT to bounce to. Should be a much easier dive. Immediate death realm onto Jonah. Good call. Dodging the Ezreal with the death realm. Wants to just try and solo kill this realm, but the CC coming through only a few more seconds before the death realm fades away. Tries to get back under the tower. Again, has the shield or should have the shield ready to go. A couple extra half will finally pop it. But a shutdown coming through for Humanoid. Big to have that gold in the pocket of their mid laner. In the meantime, Tier 2 dropping on the top side. Team Heretics quick to punish, breaking up in mid as well. Ultimately, it was a winning play for Heretics because they were able to get so much value from the Herald on the top side. Three charges in. Continuing to just split push this entire game, and I don't really think anybody can match him. He is so far ahead of the clock. But Fnatic grabbing a tower of their own, making sure that they never, that they always trade. Even if they're trading down, they're always getting something back in return. Noah's ulti. Gonna commit to the tier two top lane. I quite like this from Fnatic. Ooh, Q flash. A bit of an overcommitment, but you know, not the end of the world. I wonder also having the death realm back up again, so pretty hard to make he, play can happen. He interrupt that? No, he doesn't have vision. If he had, that would have been uh, very unfortunate for Oscar. Maybe even a tower would have been lost. Go spotting Noah. Queuing in, he one, wins two, this one, three, one. predicts the E, takes his time on the stun, just keeps it there, waiting for anyone else to show up. Falls up with the ulti! Again, the Queen's clean Sejuani play, setting up the double stun, just gonna casually 1v1 the enemy AD carry, or give it away! He wants oh. to give the kill over to Flackhead. Was it a greedy play though? Flackhead should just walk up, one Q. Lightning crash? All right, has to use the ulti, but well played. That was just a solo kill. Two items. He's got the more mana. It's, uh, oh, but has he overstayed? No package to get yeah, you out yeah, of this one. Yeah, yeah, that's a big scorpion. He's gonna go in and try to kill Humanoid. Gonna get the TP out too. Just trying to one-hit Humanoid. Flash in, he's already dead, Oscar! Needs to try to walk oh, away. The it's the dead rope! The Ezra only! It doesn't hit! Swyro's out! It's like it never had the opportunity. Now the rest of Fnatic is on the collapse. So Team Heretics, are they overcommitting? Yanko's coming into the backside, Fnatic. Turning back. All potential remaining scenarios. In 59% of those scenarios, Team Heretics make it to playoffs. The context that information isn't gonna tell you is that Trippy on the flank. And they're taking their time. Hit by the Baron pullback, not ideal, but Jun is walking in. Where's Humanoid isolating. Yeah. Yeah. Can they get it? Jungler isolated by Wonder, getting lower and lower. Noah gonna try to steal it with the ulti, but no. Steal now coming through. Wonder getting chunked away. In the meantime, Jun trying to create a bit more space. Trimmy about to get oh. taken down, but he flashes in, he gets headbutt. But can they still win the fight? TH, their front line's falling apart, but their back line is alive and well. Lightning crack from Blacken, but Noah's still up. Humanoid is still up. Oscar is still trying to make the difference. Pulling away slowly, but surely getting cut down. Noah waiting over the wall. Spyro. Is he going to throw that gold lead away? Only two members. Four grub buff just continues to pay off. I feel like Spyro single-handedly has destroyed four out of these five towers this game. No, well, it's not, not Choby-like. He's Choby. We'll give him full credit. 3 0 300 CS, 27 minutes in. He's doing good. Oscar caught out. Stunned there. Razork 
Death Realm coming through from Wonder. Razork waiting for that perfect ulti opportunity. Oscar taking a little bit too long to kill. Ulti finally getting on Wonder. Right as everything fades away. Flacken with the ulti hitting multiple targets. Jun getting cut down, but the backline from Fnatic cannot participate in this fight. Spyro will dash out the arrow from Humanoid. Not going to connect under the carries, crucially, but Trimby getting burned down. They will get one back. Two for one, though. In favor of Team Heretics, they can turn to the soul. Fnatic need to fight this. Their jungler is up, but he does not have Flash. He does not have Smite. Good speed. Good extra HP as well. Make sure he can dodge the rocket, but this should just be the objective taken down. Alti not going to hit. Ocean Soul for Team Heretics. All it takes, you know, when we saw them in the past, in these few games that they've had this season that have been good, it's been a lot about Yankos getting the ball rolling this time. It feels like it come from anywhere. As he's been line. caught out immediately, going to flash him with a headbutt pull. In the meantime, Wonder off on the side, just going to isolate Noah, pull him back. Easy 1v1 against the AD carry. Any realm against Wonder. It's a death realm. He's got the Ocean Soul, and the entire team of Fnatic is just getting deleted. Wonder with the triple kill. He'll give the rest to his AD carries. He's a generous top laner, but that is a monster fight for the side of Team Heretics. It's a clean ace for Heretics. Wonder with the flank absolutely decimates Noah. A masterclass in Mordekaiser as Heretics are just looking to end the game. Incredible fight. Death Realm clutch. The front line just could not come together. Fnatic could not find the angles. Team Heretics from start to finish. A single misstep, a single fail dive from Fnatic. They were quick to punish and even quicker to snowball to victory. In 30 minutes, they'll take the win over Fnatic. A crucial win for Heretics.